Hi, my name is Miss Stacy, and I'm just doing a quick video update today as per requested by a lovely friend of mine, Ram Rain. He wanted to know my opinions on the DVD mid chapter 19.5 patch. So I made some rough notes, I quickly glanced over things. Um, I haven't had a lot of personal time to catch up after painting my house, so things are being a little bit hard for me to manage at the moment but I will get on with it um, the archive change you get less XP or oh, more XP and then um, it takes longer the more the times increase it seems a little bit bizarre but it might be healthy change you know I'm too sure but definitely going to check this out tomorrow when I'm live streaming, see what it's about, see if it's any better. To, um, you know, I can always do an update video if you want, Ramain, on, um, you know, if I've changed my mind, I'm quite happy to, you know, do that. Changes to UI, I will have to see when I play. Obviously, these changes, um, if I feel they're good or not, they might, they might be good if you've got more information there available for you. Um, the twins changes. I am a person that does not enjoy playing the twins. I do not enjoy their playstyle. I don't enjoy what they're about. You know, the whole slugging. That's all they're good at is slugging. Um, I've never really enjoyed the twins. So these changes, I don't really know an, an actual opinion on because I don't really play them. But I'm quite happy to play them tomorrow and try them out and see if things have improved with them or not. But they're just something I don't enjoy. Their playstyle, I just, I, I, I just don't find it fun. And I know being slugged as a survivor is not fun. Um, Demogorgon, I do enjoy playing Demogorgon, and I read over the changes to his add-ons very carefully. Um, seems so bizarre. It it makes no sense to me because it seems like they've buffed and then nerfed like his add-ons and then nerfed and then buffed this add-on every add-on seems to be like an, a nerf to it or a buff to it. it it seems very weird thinking I don't know why they didn't do what they did with the Wraith small little tweaks here and there and um, I think Demo would be in a better place right now from what I'm looking at I can't 100% say but I'm very looking forward to playing him tomorrow and seeing what is what because I do enjoy a bit of demo so we will see tomorrow on that but judging from what I saw it seems very bizarre behavior from the devs to buff and nerf add-ons and it seems like it's not really a buff if there's nerfs involved if, if you understand what I'm saying with that um, I'm just turning over my notes here. It's Freddy! Poor, poor Freddy. He has received nerfs. <laughs> His snares now take... Oh, when he places a snare, he gets a slowdown now. And you can't spam them anymore, apparently. So, I don't personally use snares as a Freddy player, but I can imagine two Freddy players that do utilize this and have fun with it. It's probably not not a nice change it's just something I don't play with so I can't you know have an opinion on it dream palettes being made less now come on behavior <laughs> I like to have fun <laughs> I like to have fun with Freddy and dream palettes that's fun to me why why can't I have fun <laughs> dream palettes are so fun and they've nerfed the amount that you can have now it might not be that bad it might not be that bad but on maps like Midwitch, this is the only map that actually comes to my mind, but I know there are probably others. Dream palette locations for you to place them at the start of the match aren't there. Have a walk around Midwitch, you'll see. Um, they're not there unless you break a palette. Now, on these maps, the maps that have this, Freddy is already at a disadvantage, really. So, yeah. Um, not happy about Dream Palette change. <laughs> I really enjoy dream palettes. Uh, clocks now actually do something. Huzzah! <laughs> actually now incentivize survivors to go to clocks, wake up, it gives them immunity for X amount of time. Brilliant idea. Brilliant idea, but will survivors utilize it? Probably not. 
probably not. It's the same with bones, like, you know, or no it. They complain about it, but they don't want to do the bones. It's it's one of those situations. I'm not having a go at survivors. It's just the way it is. Like, you know, hopefully they'll utilise them. Hopefully it will give Freddie some stall potential. I think it's positive change. I just hope survivors utilise them um, going forth into the game. Black box for an ultra rare add-on. This is a laughable add-on, if I've ever seen one. A mini tiny little baby blood warden for an ultra rare add-on. Just doesn't seem right to me. Doesn't seem right. And the rest of the add-on changes are really, really bizarre as well. This is what I don't understand. They seem to be making really bizarre changes. Like, one of them causes, like, a strider effect, and one of them causes a surveillance effect. And the strider is a nurse perk, and pig, yeah, surveillance is a pig perk. Why has Freddy got these effects on his add-ons when he is not the nurse or the pig? Why doesn't Freddy have his own effects, like blood pools or, you know, dream palettes? which he does on an add-on but you know something relating to freddy you know maybe you know i don't know it just seems like it doesn't fit freddy these are nurse and stride you know pigs effects don't understand it still really confused about it as you can tell so don't know what the devs are doing there seems a little bit bizarre huntress add-on changes i am very very excited to try these out i'm not the greatest huntress but i'm really really excited about flight speed it's my, I don't have an idea what it's going to do, but I'm very excited to try this out. I keep on saying excited, because I am. And um, the Pungent Fial seems very interesting as well. This is an add-on where she runs out of hatchets and uh, increases the movement speed. This could be very spicy. And I can't wait to try these out. And, of course, the eerie head hatchet change needed to be done. It needed to be done. Uh, you know, you don't need three of them if you're a good huntress, you know. And um, you don't even need to be a good huntress to use their heads, to be fair. Um, they're very lethal and it needed to be changed, and I'm happy for that change as well. Live design, glad no more pressing the struggle, the X button to constantly struggle on the hook. Now we get these nice skill checks. Bravo, behaviour on that. I would just like to have a change to the wiggle, com the wiggle on the joystick when you're being carried that would be a lovely quality of life change for us console you know, um, players you know to save our analog sticks maybe change it to like you have to press the left bumper right bumper something that doesn't involve wearing our analog sticks into the ground after repeated use um that's the only thing if you've got any ideas for the, the wiggle please share them i'll be happy to discuss that with you the new object, small game and borrow time change. Object, I will have to verse it to form an opinion on, I'm afraid. A small game took so long to do. It's such quality of life, it took too long to do. I remember Hybrid Panda back in the day mentioning this, like, oh, back when Spirit was released, we should have a totem counter. Taken too long, really, really positive change from someone that likes to do bones. Loving it. Um, borrow time, healthy change. It's actually positive perk now, even though survivors still can utilise it in a negative way. I like the fact that stealth killers no longer can camp and know that borrow time is not going to work. This is a very healthy change, positive change. I totally am for this. Um, lucky break. I am very scared reading this perk. As you know, killers... Um, sounds have been bugged to all hell for god knows how long i think they actually admitted that was an intended change at some point i was reading on the forum someone said but i don't like to go on someone said i don't know i'm i'm putting it as a bug um so we don't have sounds as killer and now they're taking away our scratch marks it's it sounds like absolute horror to me um i'm I'm going by my gut here. I do not think I am going to enjoy versing this perk. I think this perk is going to be very, very strong. But yeah, again, I would, I, I want to verse it to actually form an opinion on it. But I'm going with my gut and saying this perk is going to be very strong, very damaging in the right hands. So that is all the notes that I had regarding a quick look over the patch notes and my opinions obviously these opinions will probably change tomorrow when I'm playing it live on my live stream tomorrow 
So I hope to see you there. We'll be playing all the kills that have been changed, you know, hopefully see Coldwin. All that malarkey. So I have been Miss Dosey. This has been the pig. This has been my opinion on the mid-chapter patch. I hope to see you soon.